Well, hello gamers, Mez here, and today we're looking at Mech Mechanics Simulator, which is a bit of a new genre for the channel. Um, I played quite a bit of Car Mechanics and uh, actually Tank Mechanic as well, which is uh, by the same organisation, by the same devs. Uh, oh, is it the same devs or the same publishing house? I always get confused on that. Anyway, really enjoy those sorts of mechanic games. Uh, love the work, the Tanks one. It sort of reminds me of World of Tanks, which I've spent far too much time and money on in the past but today we're looking at mech mechanic simulator which is obviously just same sort of deal but set in the future and i'm a big fan of mechs as well um so this will be a bit of fun so let's start a new game and uh yeah i just had a little try to that idea but that's fine let's just get into that and um yeah so let's just give it a bit of a run i'm quite looking forward to this actually so this is out on the 25th of march on You're steam here your competitors were not as lucky as you are, and they are still sitting in their holes. And you got this gem. They're sitting in their holes? That sounds awful. All right, so let's uh, move around. Pretty standard. Wasad, and who's this guy? Like C-3PO with a bit of an attitude. All right, so this must be... You know how hard it was to find this place? The workshop. And unregistered mechanics are still being prosecuted by the authorities. Since you're operating in a somewhat gray area, they'll surely make me your partner in crime. Screw me apart and make me a blender or some other tool. Just be careful, okay? <laughs> it's like the paranoid android from... Uh... Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You might feel a bit lost at the beginning since the workshop is a few times larger than your hole. I bet it is. You built me in. Uh, once you take a look around, you go um, to the office. Okay, yeah, whatever. All right, so this is the uh, workshop. Cool, futuristic. Oh, I'm already excited to play this. I don't think the mechanics are as good as, excuse the pun, uh, as um, car mechanic, because that is really, really cool. Nice dystopian future city out there. What does that say? Shake your bones. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so this must be the office. Yep. You need to get an office license as soon as it's possible. Without it, no one will ever risk giving us bigger jobs. Okay, so we so there's a bit of a story to this. Obviously, I'm the undercover. Tiny PC, yeah, got it, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to do the tutorial? Yeah, why not? Uh, right, so this is the, um, even though it's not really my first disco, but let's do the tutorial anyway. All right, let's here get on here. you can see the list of all currently available job offers. With time and enough work, more of them should appear. Okay. So how much money have I got? I've got 1,500 bucks. This one pays me... Nearly 10,000. Let's take it. This panel will let you view the details selected of the jo uh, job. You'll see the corporation that's trying to hire, make model description, tasks need to accept the job when you're ready. Yeah, all right. So what have we got to do? So it's this sort of Star Wars looking dude. Is it B2 Jobo? Um, independent mechanic needed. Accident involved radioactive substance took place. We assure the radiation levels are in safe parameter. This is a standard unit, so the repair should go without complication. No serious damage was found. Please correct faulty parts. Sakura technology. Repair part, clean mech. It's easy. Let's do it. Ah. Okay, cool. So they lower them into the workshop. Third of a hidden is looking pretty dirty. Right, let's head to the assembly station and see what's wrong with our patient. Oh, it's quite too twitchy. Oh man, he is huge. Out of the way, uh, C-3PO. Oh man, he is a big dude. Huh. Kind of weird art the guy's got in the place. What is going on there? Okay, whatever. Right. So here's the big guy. So we need to find out what's damaged in the mech. To do that, we will use this station. But first we need to clean the mech from all the dust and mud. Interesting, it seems some of it they've got voice, some of it uh, you read for yourself. Okay, so how do I clean? Cleaning, here we go. Enter cleaning mode by pressing clean button. Pretty straightforward. 
Press and hold, start the flow of water. Yeah, okay, so this is just like the, uh, this is like the tank game where you find tanks in the field and you've got to wash all the mud off them, get them back to your workshop. Cool. I love it though, with mechs. How fun. Uh, okay, yeah, got to do around behind him. Nice. It's cleaner than when it was assembled for the first time. Return to the assembly screen. Okay, let's, uh, how do I return to the assembly screen? Escape. Scanning, there we go. Ah, okay, cool. So I've got a mouse over to find where the, where the damage bits are. Interesting. Interesting little mechanic. I'm not finding anything. What am I missing here? Do I need to? Oh, I need, maybe I need to hold the mouse button down. Scanning complete. All right. So it looks like it's just a bit, little bit of damage over here. Okay, so that's that's cool. So that's kind of like the inspection mode in car mechanics. So a lot of the the mechanics, I've got to stop saying that, are very similar. Have I got to search anything else? No, that's it. Okay, so escape that assembly. Okay, this panel will let you select all mech modules you want to move to the workbenches. Modules highlighted in red are the ones you found damaged part during the scanning. Press the broken module and select. Um, so press the broken module and select one of the workbenches to move it there. Okay, so obviously the uh, the right arm is the right arm, isn't it? Yeah, it's damaged. And let's go to work bay one. Detaching. You will need to detach a few parts that are blocking the arm. Okay, so we're basically taking the wheels off or the arm off in this case. Remember the only uh, yeah, 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 got it, got it, got it. Okay, so. Yeah, oh, this is very familiar. Okay, screws, glad they've still got screws in the future. Just whisk those off. And off comes that arm. Okay, very good. Okay, so that's good. Let's go ahead to the workbench and finally start fixing this machine. Let's do that. Close that. There it is. Kind of floating up there. Okay, this is like some sort of stasis chamber, I guess. So how do we work on this bad boy? This thing here? Workbench. Using the movement buttons, you can freely rotate the camera around the module using the cursor. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Disassembly. Using Q and E, you can freely switch between attaching and detaching modules just like the assembly station. Use your cursor to touch. Okay, cool. Disassembly, aiming parts will allow you to see some basic information from our point of view, most important parts. Of blah, 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 blah. Yeah, let's just get on with it. As always, I rush through this stuff and I'll be regretting it in a minute. Oh, sorry. So let's go. There we go. Disassembly. Yeah, got it. Off you come. Oh, oh I've actually got to lift it off, okay. Okay, off you go. I can't get to that. Why can't I get to that piece? Oh, okay, it's right dug in there. A little screw. I imagine there'd be skills to uh, sort of make this a bit faster as well. Looks like normal games. I tell you what I might do though. I don't know if this is loud for you guys, but I might just. Um, have a look at the settings here because I tell you that music is pretty loud and slightly slightly oppressive okay let's get those sound effects up beautiful there we go saving save yeah okay good continue All right sorry let's get back to this now where were we I think we were around this side weren't we Oh damn, I took those out, but it's forgotten about it. It's like arm plating. Get that off. 
Now, where's these busted parts? We've got to get this part up as well, have we? There they are. Can I get to them now? No. Oh. Okay, it's a bit fiddly. Wow, okay, this is uh, right in there, these little wires. Okay, you can now remove the source issue. Let's do it. Let's get rid of these guys. Okay, so they're five. They're damaged. Up and down. Oh, okay. At this point, we don't have the hardware necessary to fix the part, but once you get your license, you'll be able to buy stations that can fix it. For now, you have to replace it with new ones. Enter the attaching mode. Okay. In this mode, all areas where parts can be placed will become highlighted. Click on the place you want. Yeah. All right. All right. You probably already noticed you can access our inventory from the station. Inventory is already filtered to show that only the parts that will fix the selected slot. Good, because searching for that stuff can be a pain in the backside. We don't have a new one to attach right now, so we'll need to buy it. Select search in shop option at the bottom. All right. All right, searching shop. Sweet. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, let's buy it. Did we buy that? Maybe I have to select it. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, how many of those do we need? I think we just need one, yeah? Okay. Cool. Close that down. Yeah, whatever. Let's get that one and let's uh, reassemble it. Too easy. No, no. Just. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, right. Assembling is quick as. Oh, it won't let me go there. Okay, so it's obviously I've got to get around here first. Oh, why won't it let me? What am I doing wrong here? No. I'm not quite sure. No. Okay. Doesn't like that. Well, that's a bit weird. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was... Uh, oh, okay. Maybe I've got to screw them in. Okay, cool. So there's his leg. Oh, sorry, his arm. All put back together. And then let's stick it on the... Uh... All right, let's uh, escape that. I'm sorry. So I guess we go over here now. I should. I really shouldn't read tutorials. Assembly. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? I mean, let's not worry about it too much, right? Okay, let's connect you. Yeah, there we go. And I guess we've got to drill all those bits back on. Easy, peasy. When you finish all of the main goals oh, now you're of the job, to me. you'll be able to return it. Of course, you can return a job before fixing the mech if you don't feel like getting your money. Right. Let's head back to the office. Okay. Excellent. It's funny, they've got X's in some screens and clothes in the others. It's a little inconsistent. Look at that beautiful thing. That is awesome. I really like the uh, artwork in the office, in the, in the workshop. It's seriously cool. Futuristic, but still grubby. Right, there we go. So repair part, clean the mech. Nice, finished job. Boom, take it away. <clears throat> My undercover workshop. All right. Our finishing job, short summary will be displayed. It's quite useful. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can enter the shop at any time. Let's have a look at opening. Ooh, sorry. I didn't do what it said. Let's go to the shop. Okay. 
Here we can buy and sell mech parts. On the left you can search for their names. Oh my god. Remembering these names will be difficult. Always check the part price before you buy it. The market is really unstable right now. Okay, cool. So the prices shift. Ah, and it shows. Interesting. So you might hop into here and want to get stuff you use regularly. I like it. Okay, that is a nice little touch. So what do we do now? Should we get another job? Is that the tutorial over? Okay. Well, let's... um. How we how we go? Yeah, we got time. Let's let's do another one. Oh, should we do this big one? Twelve thousand. And look at it, it's cool. That's oh nice. Look at that. That's like uh, a hexagon things like um. Oh man, I can't remember the name of the game. Massive mech game. I want to say Titan. Why can't I remember what that's called? Anyway, let's um. Okay, so they're all Arguses. Let's let's go for the Centurion. It's got some huge cannons on top here. Pair parts. Yeah. Bring him in. He's covered in crap too. Looks like they've been fighting on Mars. Alright, let's go and give him a clean. I say him. It's a mix. Ships are female, aren't they? So maybe maybe it's a her. They have a gender? All right, let's give it a clean. Get these jets on. It's more like a fire hose. A reasonably satisfying little experience over that. It's not too much, it's not over the top. I'm hoping that it doesn't, if you haven't got to get every little tiny bit off. No, you see you haven't, and that's good because that can be a real pain in the ass, especially on that tanks mechanic game. I don't like corporation, but I like money. I think we should take everything from the rich and give it to me. I wonder if there's um, factions in this. I should have a look up here. Maybe these are the factions that you can... I don't know. I'll work that out later. Okay, so let's let's scan. Oh, okay, so that one's busted. Oh, and that one's busted too. Okay, cool. So you, don't, you haven't got to scan it all. You just find the parts that are broken. Assembly. Ooh. Okay, so let's get the arms off first. Interestingly, it's saying... Uh, what have I got to take off now? Something behind there I've got to take off. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. That bolt there. Yeah, so it's cool. It's green. It's exactly the same as car mechanic. It shows you which bits you've got to take off so you don't get too confused. The only difference, I guess, between this and a game like Car Mechanic, and sorry to keep referencing it, is you, it's a bit of an education in the Car Mechanic game, which is which is nice. It's probably not so much of an education this one, unless you're jumping into a, a cryo bath for a couple of hundred years. But anyway, wife games got to be realistic. They don't. Let's just be quiet and enjoy the game. Okay, so those are the two. Well, I mean, I guess they're arms. Call them arms. So let's uh, get out of here. Ah, look at that. That's, that's, that is awesome. I really love the way all that works. Okay, so let's work on this one first. Right. So what was broken? Uh, uh, this thing down here, 17%. So we've got to get to that. Can I zoom out a bit? Yes, I can. I wonder if I can just take these off. Yeah. And then maybe that can just... Ah, okay. Get to this lower one here. A couple of bolts. Too easy. Is that... Right, so let's go... Now that's working. Yeah, so I've got the thing off that's broken. What's, what's this up here? I don't know what those things are. Let's jump out of here. Let's go to the is it shop. How do I get to the shop? OK, 
Okay, this is <laughs> this is where things start to go wrong. Clean the mech, repair, repair, repair. Yeah, that's all good. Okay. So what are the parts that we need? Our reputation opened new doors. Oh, I don't we think proved I that we are worth the trust and from now on we can take loans. From this screen, you'll be able to take loans and specify the repayment schedule. Okay, that's cool. Not something I want to do right now, black market, uh, etc. Now, how do we find out the bit that's bloody missing? What did what am I doing wrong here? Uh, is it this one? Is it this one? Ah, oh, wait. Ah, so there we go. Okay, so you got to replace it. Search in shop for that piece. Okay. Oh, look, and it's at minus ten percent. Nice. So we buy. Well, should we buy two of those? Because we're going to need one on the other side, right? <gasps> Definitely don't want to buy 94 of them. Can you just go one? Yeah, okay, let's buy two of those. Okay, and then let's replace it. Bolt and bolt. Yes, I like it. Ah, oh, it's very, very satisfying little game, this. Oh, wait, sorry. It's, uh... Oh, no, no. Okay, I'm pressing the wrong button. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Let's get this one on here. There we go. That's that. Q. Oh, that's, that's on. Okay. That's on. Okay, yeah. So the repairing, the putting back takes a little bit of getting used to if you're used My to My eye fell out. <laughs> okay, thanks. I don't want to call you C3PO. C1PO. Okay, what what do I need to patch up next? That's the only thing. It doesn't necessarily tell you what bits you've got to put on next. I think it was over here, right? No. Was, it, was there something else on here I had to put on? Ah, okay, so that's... Okay, so these things at the top you can control. So that's take out, that's put in. Got it. Tells you which mode you're in. Like that. Maybe that's it, right? Yeah, so let's... Maybe that's just fixed. So let's go to this guy. Yeah, that's right. It's just straightforward, really. you just got to... Take these bits off. Oh, sorry, hold it down. Wazoo. Hold that down. Off you go. Yeah, easy, easy, easy. Okay, getting the knack of this now. And unscrew those bolts. Then let's go to replace. Oh wait, did I not take that off? I didn't take it off. Take the broken one off first. There we go. And then go replace the new one. Excellent. Good as new. It's a shame it doesn't look a little bit um, broken. That would that would be good. Like if it had bullet holes in it or something. And maybe that's uh, maybe that's just to come. Maybe maybe I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here. Okay, that's good. All right, let's get these things back on. All fixed up. Right, uh, left arm, on you go. Climb on up here and do my thing. Okay, so it's these guys, yeah, easy. Too easy, right, and this guy. Ooh, wow. Extreme close up, that one. Armour cladding there, bolt in there, 
Good. All right, let's get this left leg off. Stick it in work bay one. Get the armor plating off. There you go. What else has got to come off? You've got to come off. What's well, a serious bolt? Some more connective stuff here. There we go. All right, come and grab that. Close. All right. Getting it now. Right, so the leg should be over here. Thank you, Mega Hand. I wonder if I can upgrade this guy. Some guns on him or something. Now, where were the where was the issue here? I can't actually remember where the issue was. Uh, so if I come out of here. Oh damn, that is that's gonna be a bit of a shame. Last time it was yellow, so let's just assume yeah, it's that thing in there. So I think what I learned from other games is you don't want to take stuff off if you can avoid it. Okay, can we get straight in here? Okay, we might need to take this off. Just to get into that. How do we get in here? Oh, okay. Okay, little bolts there, yep. Yeah. Get you out. Well, now you come. What's, what's got to go next? This little guy. Get this cylinder out of there. Okay, up, down, up, down, got it, okay. Now, this is getting fiddly. Uh, don't particularly want to get down there. I don't think we need to do that yet. There we go. Let's get that out. So this is more the sort of mechanical bits. Did that, you say something? Uh, Did you? Sorry, I have too many tasks open at the same time. Yeah. Okay. I was I was waffling a bit. C one three PO. C one PO. What are we going to call you? Derek. Okay, let's get you out. Oh, so sometimes it's up, sometimes it's up and down. Man, this is fiddly. Okay. What What is left in here? This is a real delicate little piece of equipment, this one. Okay, it's gonna be fun putting all this back together. I suppose this is why it's the big job, right? I knew that we had to. I don't want to take that out there yet. It's right there. Why can't I just get that out? Hydraulics. Hmm. Okay. I'm not seeing why that one's not going to come out. So what have I got to do? Got to get in behind there. Ah, there we go. I wonder if that was the only thing that needed to come out, and I've just wasted a huge amount of time. That is possible. Okay, got it. Right, so let's get to back to the shop. Oh, no, I should tell you what it is. Sorry, sorry. It's not to the shop. It is simply to fill in mode and then we go here and we search and shop for that ah see that's plus three percent whatever buy it okay install the new one i imagine we can sell the old gear as well all right oh okay so this okay these are just cables that's fine they're all much of a muchness yeah i'm pretty sure i did not need to take all these cables out but that's okay. We'll get him in. Get him back in. No time. No issues at all. Uh, in you go. A little bit of bracing there. And I think we are. Oh. 
get that in, get you on, screw that down, and this is probably going to be done. Any around this side? Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. Leg fixed. Let's get you over back on the big boy, whatever it was called. Assembly. Left leg. Connect. Alrighty, and just remind me what I've got to do here. Yep, yeah, stick that on there, stick that on there, screw those bolts in, and you are good to go. Close. Close. Looking beautiful. Back up to the office we go. No doubt we'll be able to get some remote wear later so we don't have to keep running up these stairs. Not that it's the end of the world. And click on here. All the parts cleaned, fixed, job done. And there we go, that's take her away. I think that was like 13,000, so we should be up near 30,000 buckaroonies. Finally. Nice. Now we are finally able to buy a mechanic license. All right. Without it, we have no chance in getting bigger jobs. Better get it quick. All right. Well, I will get that. But I tell you what, we might um, we might leave the video there because I was just going to get too long. But that was fun. I uh, really like these sorts of games. They're very relaxing. Um, which, as I get older, I, I search for more. To be honest. So a nice little relaxing game. I'll keep having a look at this. As I said, it's out on the 25th of March. Uh, you can check it out for free now on Steam as the demo or the prologue. And yeah, definitely worth looking. I mean, that this is this is the demo, so you get a fair bit of game for this, and I suspect there's a lot more to go. So check it out, and as I said, 25th of March, if it's interest, put it on your wish list. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, Till next time, I'll catch you later. Mezzo out. <laughs>